We're getting close to the end. You know, we have played worse games. I just would like to note that. Like, significantly worse games. I will say, this game would probably be worse if it was voiced. You know that? Because then I wouldn't get to do the voices. I'm guessing I have to do it at night. So, I probably can't do it now. Swine! What are you doing? What are you doing here, subhuman? Uh, nothing really. I just... I'm busy preparing for the stream. Now get your filthy particles out of my sight at once. Yes, oh, sir. Geez. This is gonna work if we have to sneak in at night. All right. That's what I figured would happen, but, you know, it's worth a try. All right, I guess we'll go home and sleep for a bit. You know, I'm trying to get this game over as fast as I can. I'm only doing main quest. Who, who's this? Who, who's outside my damn house? What are you doing? Oh. Whoa! Look at this! They have cheap, they have cheap stuff! You, oh, what's this? It's it's like a it's like a it's like a it's like a dog biscuit. For thirty dollars, which has extreme stomach powers. Lobster! My stress went down ninety-six points. That's a that's a lot of that's a lot of stress downage. Okay. Well, let's see how much money we have. Okay, I guess we can't do that. All right. Well, let's sleep for I mean, 9 hours would put us in the middle of the night. That seems acceptable. Like this. You know this what you know this is probably intentional. I would just like to know. motivator than a free burrito. That's a lot of alcohol. Don't tell me this is the only thing you're here for, Grandma. 
Have you ever heard of the phrase "all that's all all well that ends well"? <laughs> now shut up and get guzzling. <laughs> I'm gonna drink you into the table. Are you ready, sweetheart? Seriously? You know we could just dump it down the vents. <laughs> Bring it on, drink queen. Yeah, baby. Are we actually gonna do Jeez. this? We are. We're gonna do this again. Okay. Jeez. We're doing this again. This seems this seems like a waste of time. Jeez. Give up I'm so close. I just need to drink a little bit more. Naomi, I think you might be underselling it slightly. I know it seems like a waste, but maybe you should just chuck the vampire's blood out. Sheesh this at once. Every drop of alcohol is a drop of his blood. Such blasphemy. You will sully all of humanity by throwing out away these sacred waters. I will not allow it. What? Where'd you come from? Where there is alcohol, there is God. And where there is God, there is your vicar. Oh, he's gonna drink it. I am vicar. And yet I struggle to look upon... I know I did something bad. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But I also owe you an apology. You were only trying to do what you thought was right. I must accept that fact. Therefore, I must purify my sins with the power of this holy water. Hmm? Forgive me, lords, that I have sinned. Alright, we got, we got, we got a helper. Really hammering it down. Thanks, Vicar. We might just get through this in time. Jeez, he's not even listening. Damn drunk just can't help himself. He likes his alcohol. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> now what? All right, here we go. <laughs> you nervous, yuppie? I don't know, it sort of feels like I'm watching all this play out from behind a screen or something. Ah, a little late for that, don't you think? Anyway, check this out. It's my Flamingo account. It's my Flamingo Seriously? account. Seriously? Holy crap, three million followers. I've never seen that number, a number that big before. So no matter what weird shit may be floating around your mind right now, there ain't no turning back, yuppie. Yeah. Got it. Let's j then let's head out to the square. You're the official photographer for this streaming event, remember? <laughs> Showtime, sister. Get out there and act like you're ready to do your job. I know, I know. Oh, and one more thing. I'm going to let you in on a real journalist's secret to success. When you get to the point where you're, oh, no, I'm screwed. That's when you're really going to shine. And in that moment, all you need to do nope. is... I'm not doing that lobster pose. Mm. Lobster! Lobster! Ah. Mm. 
What's this big city? That's a big city. According to press, re press reports released from Warning Bell, the massive media conglomerate based on New York in New York City at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. GMT tonight, they plan to make a shocking world-changing announcement <laughs> for the small town of Rainy Woods located in Northern England. The details have not yet been made clear, but the press report states the following. Up until this moment, the insular rural town of Rainy Woods has kept a mirac miraculous therapy technique all to themselves. Thanks to the efforts of Morning Bell's research team, this, tech he's been, this technique has been rediscovered using scientific technology. Rumors are currently circulating online due to the leak that states that the therapy has the power uh, to cure late-stage cancer. <sighs> have used tradition as an excuse to stand by and watch thousands of cancer victims die. In response to this, a, a pediatric cancer specialist commented, claiming that this is this to be inexcusable from an ethical perspective. That does sound inexcusable. Uh, other late-stage cancer specialists have also shared similar statements of disapproval. Yeah, I would, I would guess they'd all be skeptical. Actually, this gave birth, this gave birth to the hashtag #OpenRW movement that is currently escalating on the internet. As we speak, the pace continues to rage concerning whether or not late-stage cancer treatment is actually possible. Meanwhile, a massive piece of graffiti art has been spotted on the wall of a hospital in Rainwood, Arkansas. <sighs> The movement is showing no signs of quieting down, and some fear bigger problems are already on the horizon. Does this miraculous treatment technique that hails from Rainy Woods actually have the power to cure late-stage mm. cancer? Countless eyes from all over the world are now focused on this quaint little town. Swine! We're 30 minutes out! Hurry, you miserable subhumans! Oh? This isn't good. We're in deep trouble, sweetheart. Think about it. We ended up drinking all the vampire's blood. Um, yeah, I know. What? That was the plan, wasn't it? Take a chill pill, Granny. No, it's not. That's not what I mean. I think it's... That, I think... I think about it. Really think. That means the bottle is empty right Seriously? now. Seriously? Ah. Ooh. Surely that's the only that's only thanks to the good grace of the Lord on high that we haven't been found out by now. Well, what should we do? <laughs> Don't panic, we just need to fill the keg back up, right? Indeed, we simply need to fill the bottle back up with fake vampire's blood. <laughs> we'll buy some then. Go and call that mad scientist over here. So basically, those two are the ones who have been controlling the entire town of Rainy Woods from the shadows. Really? If you want to keep experimenting here, it's definitely in your best interest to introduce yourself to them. Mm -hmm. Those two lesser subhumans? <laughs> right. For, first things first. We, we we let's give you a proper a welcome. We brought the holiest God's waters with us. Come, let us Lost raise a toast. Eh. But the stream is about to begin. What have you heard? That beer is practically like water to you Americans. Not to worry. We've got some some of the good gin tucked away around here somewhere. So, practically water does so be it i happen to be using supplements to strengthen my liver behold my you think genius. this will could get me drunk feast your eyes on the power of science subhumans 
Wow, we he actually we actually managed to stop him right in his tracks. But now, how are we going to get to swap? How are we going to swap in the fake vampire squad? Naomi, have you forgotten your training in the mountains? You're the one that made the massive beanstalk grow, remember? Oh uh, yeah, I just thought of something. It might work, but damn it, why me? No, there's no time to think. I'm just gonna have to do it. Turn into a dog and pee on the vampire's blood. Okay. We gotta use stealth? Oh no. Huh. Swine! Okay. Swine! Fiend! You're trying. Hugh, it's your job. There's some human terrorist that needs to be dealt with. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did I just die? How dare you try to undermine me? I hope you enjoy your pathetic life because it's all over now. <laughs> yeah, that could definitely happen if I'm not careful. If that mad scientist catches on to me, he'll ruin my whole life. Come on, now's not the time to get cold feet. If I get scared, I'm screwed. Okay. Okay, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Okay, that was actually really easy. I guess I have to do all I guess I have to do all of them. That one's a tougher one. All right, that's a tougher one. I don't know why he's so suspicious. Why is he so damn suspicious? Damn it! He's being a jerk. Oh, it's got like this timer. It like doesn't stop when you hit the button. That's stupid. Huh. Okay, that's so dumb. That is so dumb. That's a bad. This is this is this is this is. Yeah, we should pee on him. I agree. Be the better way to go. Huh. There we go. We got it. You think he'll see me if we're behind that guy? We did it. Okay. Hey. Sorry to interrupt all the mirth, but Dr. Anderson, it's about time to go on. Wouldn't want you to have to interrupt the stream for a bathroom break. So you should probably take care of it now. Ridiculous. Imbecile! I've taken a supplement that boosts my bladder control. So so long, lesser subhumans. Huh? What's that? How'd it go? <laughs> oh, there's no need to worry. I'm sure that Miss Hayward employed her mercurial wit to think of the perfect solution. Nope. No, I'm not sure I would describe it so eloquently. Just trust me on this one. <laughs> There's no way the Trinity Incredibilis Ray is gonna work yeah. now. <laughs> that means we 
get to sit and watch it all come tumbling down. <laughs> Time for us to see what sort of mess this stream ends up as. All right. It's finally time for the experiment to begin. So sorry to keep you all waiting, squirming subhuman rabble of the world. Listen up. Rejoice, for you are about to witness a miraculous new form of medical treatment. In your wildest dreams, or even perhaps your darkest nightmares, you miserable creatures could never possibly imagine the phenomenon you're about to witness today. But in order for you subhumans to fully understand the importance of the experiment I'm about to perform, we must go back to 1940. Dr. Anderson, let me remind you that capitalist society values evidence over debate. I've prepared a segment to discuss the details of the experiment, complete with its own special flip chart. Hmm. Well, if my sponsor is that adamant about it, I suppose there's no harm in adjusting my schedule. Pay close attention, insects of the world. This very moment, Nicholas Anderson is going to change the future of the human race. Behold the power of science! Hmm, that's odd. Allow me to increase the output. Ha! What a shambles! They outdid themselves with the spectacle, but it was all a hollow pretense. If only the great Lizzie Borden could see this. I wonder if the max output level is 42. That's impossible! So be it! Full power! Ugh. Dreadful! What is that man doing? This is animal abuse. Blood! Mr. White. You're the resident expert on Rainy Woods' history, right? Is it true this dinky little town has been hiding a miraculous cure for late-stage cancer from the world? Oh, if only. Then my beloved Yvonne would still be here with me right now. It's a lie? Nothing but a big fat lie? I'm afraid I'm far too old to have the energy to entertain such hearsay. What I can tell you is, Blaster. that man there on the stage came up to me and said, Sell all the land you own to us. Morning Bell News knows exactly how to get the most use out of it. Then he passed me a large contract that already had Mrs. Kelly's signature. But when I politely declined, he tells me, So be it, not like it matters. You subhumans will end up handing over all your land to us for free anyway. Yes. That's what he said. You saying it was all just some heinous conspiracy? That the miraculous treatment Morning Bell News advertised was nothing but a bald-faced lie? They were trying to use this town to suck up people's cash with some phony medical facility. Then, they tried to push the hashtag open RW movement so you'd sell your land for cheap. They wanted Rainy Woods to be the most hated place on Earth. That's what all this ruckus was for? Whew, scary stuff, huh? <laughs> As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this little country town is clean, peaceful. Frankly, it looks like your regular middle of nowhere town to me. Yet some big corporation spent a ton of money trying to crush this town using fake news. You're gonna let them get away with Fake this? News. Your town might be next. Think about it. Any one of you suffer the same fate. It's time for us to rise up. Forget the hashtag open RW movement. Now it's hashtag save RW. Save Rainy Woods from fake news. Lobster! Breaking news.
the number one trending hashtag has just switched over to Save RW. People all over the world are rising up and advocating to save Rainy Woods. Hmm. The masses are standing up to the hoaxes and monopolistic evil foisted upon them by those in power. dangerous that stuff is expensive I don't want to be responsible for breaking it the manual said to never stop a stream <laughs> even if you're getting flamed all publicity is good publicity. never cross the streams so human it was you you did this didn't you <laughs> To content without my permission. Ah! <laughs> Get wrecked, your face. Subhuman over there has yet to pay off her debt. Now get over there and do your job! <sighs> yeah. When that great lump kidnapped me, he said to me, he said, don't worry. The insanity this company's been up to will definitely catch up with him one day. And yet, he didn't help you lot out when you were trying to stop the insanity. Honestly, nothing worse than a pathetic yes man. <laughs> this stuff scares me. That was a nice touch. Says the woman who brought the wrath of the internet mob on a massive news corporation. <laughs> Guess you're right. You! You're the one responsible for this? Don't think you won, little girl, you miserable excuse for a journalist! Oh no, I know I didn't win. But the people of Rainy Woods did. Screw you! I'm going to get my army of lawyers and crush you like the tiny, insignificant, pathetic punk you are! Great work, Naomi. Just leave the rest to me. I'll email you later. Look at their stock price. It went Whew. down. This the part where we get the happily ever after? Lobster! We did it, yuppie. We kicked their freaking asses. You know, the first time I saw you, I had a feeling you'd rise up to kick some ass someday. But you also seemed like the ultimate chowderhead, so I wasn't sure which way it was gonna go. 
Should have known my intuition was right on the mark. I'm amazed you can say all that with a straight face. Well, you've still got room for improvement. A whole yacht load of improvement. So I'm gonna give you a little advice as your mentor here. The most important thing for you to learn is how to walk away from all the assholes in the world. Otherwise, they'll just trick you into a big pile of debt again. Okay, okay. But enough about that. We should be celebrating right now. You, me, all the pumpkins, we frickin' did it! We did it! Hey, Yuppie, what are you doing? Walking away from an asshole, just like you taught me. Later! Nerds. Lobster! Is that, the, is that it? Several days later! It's not it. What? Dr. Nicholas Anderson is an animal lover? One woman in a radical town renewal project? The world speaks out. You've gone too far this time. One freelance journalist and what she was able to accomplish. Dark rumors circulating in animal welfare organizations. Directors of Morning Bell News resign amidst allegations. Not recommended for the faint of heart. My trip to the infamous. An age, an age in which video evidence means absolutely nothing. Major social media services delete all traces of Rainy Woods. Epilogue. It, the, this is the game that doesn't want to end, apparently. Is that the really, really the ending you wanted? Who cares? Not like I started this job because I really wanted to. All right, then, if you're fine with it, then so am I. Meanwhile, I'm gonna keep my eye on the whole hashtag save RW situation and see how it pans out. So I'll be saying sayonara to this town pretty soon. I mean, I'm not gonna find anyone posting stuff about save RW here. What are you gonna do? I don't know, I'm still thinking. <laughs> I figured you'd say that. Well, just make your j your j journey of self-discovery doesn't take your whole life. Life's a short. Life's a lot shorter than you may think it is. Later, chat ahead. So long, lobster. After the stream, Morning Bell News is stock price crashed. I saw it. We saw it. All of the management were prosecuted and resigned, with CEO Flora Kelly at the forefront. Meanwhile, Naomi signed a special contract with the new managers. Special contract? As part of that, Morning Bell bought Naomi's Flamingo account for a hell of a lot of money. In return, Naomi announced to the world that the entire stream was all just a fiction of her creation. She claimed she staged the broadcast in an attempt to revitalize the small town of Rainy Woods. And so, with Naomi's confession, the curtain was finally closed on the incident. At long last, Naomi managed to pay off her debt, and still had a nice amount left over from the sale. Obviously, such an admission meant she had to give up her role as a journalist. Obviously. Yes! Two million dollars! Pounds! Two million dollar pounds! Oh, Drinking this early in the day. Seems like you're really living a high life now, Naomi not Hayward. But beer simply can't fit your character. I don't think anyone else would look be better drinking absinthe right oh, now. Geez. Okay, okay. Just tell me what you want already. We came to thank you on behalf of the entire town. Everyone's grateful for what you did. 
And as their representative, I feel it only suitable that I pass it on directly. Thank you so much for all your help! Seriously? Wait, hold on. I'm the one who caused all the trouble to happen in the first place. You shouldn't be thanking me. I, I should be apologizing. Are you mental? You aren't the only person Morning Bell News could have sent here. They could have sent someone with class, education, someone smart, resilient, hardworking, accomplished, charismatic, quick-witted, or a totally unscrupul unscrupulous person for all we know. Yeah, I guess you're right. And you very well could have acted like a smart person had you wanted to, but you chose justice right up to the very end. And if that didn't happen due to the empirical happenstance, that's still enough for you to deserve our gratitude. Happenstance, huh? Yeah, who am I to say? Naomi Happenstance Hayward. Humans are just like poems. Something born from the... Mesma. Purely out of coincidence. What... That is what we call poetry, and that is what we call life. We should... Oh, this is Rita talking. You should be proud within something we we were able to find something good. You never let up with this cheese, do you? Cheese! Now that you've got... Now that you've had more of your share than compliments, Miss Halfwit Drink Queen, where do you plan to go from here? Don't you think it's about time you took a step forward when it comes to taking back your life? Exactly! Now that you're a person of means, what would could, can't possibly spend all your days submerged in a pub? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm just stuck on the ultimate decision. The ultimate decision? Yeah, the ultimate goddamn hellhole of decisions. That's right, Naomi. Just as you said, this is your ultimate decision. You've gained a lot while in this town even learned some things but you've also lost a lot haven't you it's time for this tale to come to an end but donate all my money to the town which or to keep it secret from protected or right run one. back to new york city and leave out the rest of my life drowning in luxury why can't i donate half my money uh this is a this is a dumb decision i'll donate all my money whatever yeah Go, that's the game. It's over. Five days on from the stream, and hardly anyone was making posts using hashtag SaveRW anymore. Yeah. Though later, some occultish kind of groups could be seen using it for their own purposes. Their posts mostly revolved around Kurtana, the glowing moss, and the vampire's blood. These have got to be out-of-place artifacts, they'd say, although it rarely caught on. And when a hashtag SaveRW-centric blog posted snippets from a Morning Bell News article, those small groups were completely snuffed out as well. In those Morning Bell snippets, it basically said that Kurtana the glowing moss, and the vampire's blood could all be proven using modern science. Okay. So all those occulty types couldn't rely on the hashtag to support their theories anymore. And they gradually moved on to hashtag lobster pose. Okay. Cool. Did that, did... All right, lads and ladies, raise your hand if you're not here. Good grief. I mean, How do you take expect them to do that? Over. Let's hurry up and get going already before my pies get cold. Let us begin this celebratory banquet at once. First, a round of applause for this town's new hero and the sponsor of this grand feast, Naomi Hayward. Where is Yay for me! 
I would ask for a toast, but before that, I have a very important announcement to make. Sorry, but once the drinking starts, no one will listen, especially our guest of honor. All of the money that Miss Hayward donated to our town will be used now and forever in protecting its secrets. And as thanks, we hereby declare that... Naomi Harewood is now an honorary citizen of Rainy Woods. Congrats, Miss Honorary Whoa! Citizen! Oh, what does that even mean? Great things are waiting for you, Jane Haywood. Now then, on to the toast. Benedict, if you would please lead us. We are gathered here today, and I really have only one thing left to say. Cheers! Cheers! It's the game that will never end. This game is jank. <laughs> Congratulations on completing the Rainy Woods route. Naomi ended up losing her status as a journalist due to the Rainy Woods incident, but thanks to a certain crafty someone at Morning Bell, she managed to get her Flamingo account back. At one moment, she, she'd she gotten over 3 million followers, so far a far cry from what she's got now, but it's still more than enough for someone like her, right? Now she just needs to keep uploading photos so the steady stream of emokes won't dry up. With a little hard work, she might end up becoming yet another global influencer who finds the middle of nowhere. So, who lives in the middle of nowhere. And so, she became penniless yet again. Oh my god. The game never ends. Why did they give us the credits and then have like a million, <laughs> like... A, a set, like a half hour worth of like in-game stuff oh that's right I'm dead broke again I should have kept a little for myself instead George. of getting carried away and saying it, I don't need it me. it's a fact of life that money comes and goes having wealth can bring richness to life <laughs> but what if you come to rely on it eh go sod it who cares as long as you're happy right that's me done, I suppose. From here on, the story is yours to tell. Whatever happens, though, Naomi, have a good life. Have a good life. <sighs> Chasing pointless gossip in the middle of nowhere. Maybe this is the career most suited for me. Oh, but Miss Naomi, do be careful not to drink too much. <gasps> what? You're... The last one left the special running shoes with you. May I take them? <gasps> Thank you. I knew that going to Fancy and Bunny was the right choice. I feel like I could run a whole marathon in these. But you, you're. Oh, and you're free to keep using your house in Rainy Woods however you please. It seems like everyone still has some favours to ask of you too. And perhaps there are even a few mysteries left for you to solve. I just hope you know you're free to stay in our town as long as it suits you. But... but I saw you. You... I have a picture. I have a picture, even. It wasn't a dream, was it? Happiness is something that travels from yeah, person it's to over. person. And this is Rainy Woods. The happiest town in the world. Does that... 
make sense? What? Rainy Woods is the happiest town in the world? A happiness is something that travels from person to person? Who cares? Say la vie! That's the loudest goddamn hellhole we've had the entire game. Do we get like credits again? No, we, these are the real credits. Those are the fake credits. <laughs> <laughs> 